All you hardcore boxing fans out there, how are you doing? It's Big P here. You know, don't you? You know. The voice of hardcore boxing fans. Right. David Allen, a.k.a. The White Rhino from Doncaster, DN12. Good morning, David. How are you doing? As Eddie Hearn put David Allen, the White Rhino from Doncaster, out to pasture, I don't know, but... Seven months out of the ring now, his last fight was Dorian Darch, who retired with a, not a winning record, 12 and 12 and a draw. So, pretty pointless career, but where's David heading? Why has he knocked back Daniel Dubois, Yui Fury fights, and Martin Bacoli? Although that's only Billy Nelson's word, the Martin Bacoli one, but. David's denying that, but if he has knocked them three fights back, and I know he's knocked two of them back over money, where is he heading now? Now, a little dicky bird, a little canary from Denneby, has told me that the White Rhino's looking to do UFC MMA. I think that could be a good move for Dave, to be honest, because I saw a video on IFL with him in a, in a pair of boxer shorts, wrestling on some hotel bed, uh, one of his mates, and it looked, it looked like they've all, they'd all been having a wrestle in that bedroom, in that hotel room. So, get your practice in. But my advice, Dave, is do it on a, like a floor mat or in like a proper octagon, and practice all your moves and groundwork and things like that. But I worry for David. I worry for him because he's likable, but I sometimes wonder if he's got that old gambling mentality, whereas. You think you can bridge the gap from having a pair of fours in a game of pontoon, you're trying to blag it that you've got a pair of aces. Boxing doesn't work like that. Now that's just that's just my opinion, I'm entitled to it. I think that he should go back to the level he's at and fight somebody like Tom Little and then see where he goes from then. Uh, that's just my opinion uh, I don't want to see him get smashed up anymore when you're getting smashed up every second of every round for 30 minutes 10 rounds against big truck David Price that should put it into perspective where you're at because I'd say David Price's English level stroke maybe British I don't know if Chisora's Euro level, what's David Price who's just been knocked out by him? He's not Euro, so he's below that, isn't he? So if David Price is doing that to Dave Allen, what, what level is Dave at? Got to be area level, hasn't he? He can't be English stroke British because that's pricey, isn't it? But he could hang about the heavyweight scene like a bad smell and maybe get a British title, but I don't want to see him in these fights where he's getting punched about. I want to see him do something constructive and I give David Allen, the white rhino, more respect if he started again and went through the levels and found his level because I'm saying that his area level stroke may be English. I'd say Tom Little's area level. I'd make Dave a favourite against Tom Little but Tom's really up for this fight and he's probably giving uh, Dave a squeaky bum. Maybe that's why Dave didn't want to take the fight. Because he thinks if he loses to Tom Little, where does he go? Does he end up another Dorian Darch? So would a switch to MMA UFC benefit the White Rhino? I don't know, but it's exciting times ahead. Rough, tough, rugged, durable, compelling. All action. Bean. Run a bean, could have been, should have been, never been. Baked bean, creepy bean. All right, so that's the David Allen story. I want to see him win a belt, a belt. He doesn't own a belt. He's holding his trousers up with a piece of string. Go and win a belt. And you can get it on Porky's Corner, Dave, can't we? Not. Peace out.